Now, y'all know I love a longer look, but today we are playing in a shorter wig. This is from Outre's Perfect Hairline. This is Galora, and we're going to see what she's giving. And spoiler alert, she's giving. Normally, I would do a ball cap, but today I was not feeling a ball cap, so I didn't do a ball cap. I work with Outre Galore from the Perfect Hairline Collection. I thought I got this in a different color, but it is what it is. We're going to see about her anyway. This is in DRFF Tiramisu, and um, she is good for glueless. As you can see, we got the elastic band in the back. She does have a really good fit, I think, for glueless. Also, I didn't record it, but you already know I plucked the hairline off camera, especially to give it that little widow's peak for naturalness. My my beef with this wig, though, is it's kind of like a 5x5 five five closure more than it's a frontal because is like the lace pretty much stops temple to temple and i mean the sides like you'll see later on in the video the sides don't have much to it but anyways i'm using my nika p slay lace mousse tint and uh, i realized like summer's over and i need to get a lighter color of this mousse tint because it's kind of like not meshing well with my foundation these days as far as like the color match so i need to order a lighter color from her but i still really like this mousse i love how lightweight it is and i love how it never like gets cakey or causes problems mousse tint is the way to go in my opinion but anyways like i was saying y'all there's basically no size to this like it's kind of a glorified uh closure in my opinion it's it don't even have what like the the i was about to say the melted hairline yeah it is the melted hairline it don't really have what the melted hairline even has so i didn't really like that too much but it wasn't the end of the world and i guess you could consider it um beginner friendly uh, it didn't fit my ears fully but it was enough it's disguisable some wigs don't be fully fitting around that area at all so the fact that that was close enough is good enough for me i did use my wig spray to go ahead and tack this down after i cut the wig obviously i did use it under the lace this time i'm really feeling uh tacking it down under the lace but still you know after you cut it you gotta lay the you gotta lay the lace back down you can't just let it fly in the wind like that now these velcro elastic bands that snap in the back are a lot easier to use but i feel like the old school like just straight up elastic does give you a tighter lay down but this was fine anyway because it's hd so it was gonna lay regardless so i didn't have to do too much i am going through with my hot comb i have it on like 10 not too high because i don't want to melt the fibers and uh you know just getting the hair prepped and everything i decided to go with the middle part originally for this wig just because like i don't know i just been into the middle part more recently because i feel like i've been doing a lot of side parts i would consider this very heat safe i didn't give me any issues at all i wasn't afraid of it melting none of that i'm using my brush from pattern beauty that they sent me i like this detangler brush a lot this is actually the second one they sent me i have a big one and a little one this is a little one i'd be putting in my purse honestly the hair actually wasn't too bad on the tangling it's just that i plucked this like crazy you won't be able to tell how much i plucked it because i didn't do a ball cap so it's like black underneath but i did pluck a lot so i had to like really brush this one out i love the texture on this unit you guys i've been noticing with outre they really have been giving us a lot of texture like it's really not giving synthetic for real like i get i get why the price going up because i've been noticing i don't know if y'all noticed but like the synthetic wig prices have been going way up they used to be like 40 dollars for these types of wig and i don't think this one actually because it's a 13 by 4 is too far off from that price range but i've been noticing them prices going up obviously i beat the face while the elastic band was still sitting and this is pretty much how it's coming out but we're not finished yet so don't leave i did this is where i noticed like okay it's time for me to get a lighter lace tint like summer summer is over you got is gone because my powder for my face was not fully blending and you can't tell too much on camera but i could tell in person the mousse in my actual foundation were a little bit off from each other if you're wondering why she got that hot come out so much it's because one i am a perfectionist you don't have to do everything you see me do but this is what i did and two once i like changed my part and cleaned it up a little bit i had to make sure the hairs went where they needed to go the press powder I'm using on my face and in my part was my Maybelline Superstay Press Powder. I've been pretty much using that all summer. It's what I have on my face at the moment. I really like it a lot, a lot, y'all. This part, however, was really hard to clean up. That was like the downside of not doing the ball cap for me was the powder was not doing it for getting this to look seamless. Usually it does, but for this one, it, it wasn't given enough. It was given a little bit, but it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. Like what I needed it to give, it was not giving. I realized I was giving my pressed powder too much responsibility, so I went ahead and whipped out my cream concealer because it's just a little bit thicker, so it's going to give me a, a better coverage. And did. It covered up where my hair was showing through the lace, and it got my whole part just on one accord. Back again with the hot comb. Like I said, I do things because I'm, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist with my wigs, but you don't have to do everything I'm doing if you don't want to. The reason I did pull the hot comb back out, though, was because I wanted the hair to kind of push back a little bit more at the roots for the look i was trying to give it that's why i'm holding the hair 
with my fingers where I'm holding it because I wanted it to really mold and stay flat. But anyways, this is how it came out in the middle part with no baby hair. But don't leave yet because we're not done. Uh, I did go back and try it with some baby hair because I want to see what that looked like. And then I decided like, yo, know what? This looks really great with a side part she is giving she is so full not overly done it's not very wiggy it's giving like human hair for real i like this a lot if you're interested you already know it's in the description box i'll see you on my next one bye if you go to the